This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? What's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the White Pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. And you tried to save Lizzie. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Oh, thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's not happening, unless one of us goes along, too. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Somehow the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. 
Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where were you when the chase with the white pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh-huh. Sounds good. secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Mm, yeah, that seems right. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't it? proven that he didn't yet. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent, you'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just, I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Petra, don't worry. We're gonna stop the White Pumpkin way before he can hurt anyone else. It's gonna be fine. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I, I just... Really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. finished yours. Yup. Slowpoke. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. 
All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time, he's not getting away unscathed. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them, too. Ugh, ditto. Gross. Zombie noises. What in the world is that? <clears throat> oh, some sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the White Pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petro. We're going climbing. I think we can jump from here. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, that was almost embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know? Looks like we're catching you in the act, White Pumpkin. No, no, not me. That's not me. I was just curious. Come on, you guys. I can't be the White Pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? Uh, I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow, who'd have thought? 
I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. Oh, wow. Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the White Pumpkin's identity. Uh. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the White Pumpkin's been there too. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty! Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There 
There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats. So many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin. <laughs>